What's going on, guys? Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. And we have 37 days before we launched the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Um, man, uh, these videos... <laughs> These videos, I'm so tired of doing, but just for my personal documentation, I need to be able to go back and see what was going on, what was my demeanor, what was I talking about, uh, maybe it could be nothing, maybe it could be a lot, right, you know, I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, the Dreamer Vault Spotlight today goes to this young girl, nine years old. She's a tennis player. And I uh, found her on Instagram, scrolling, and wow. You know, her workout is intense at nine years old. With these, with this, you know, doing these things, these these highlights and uh, these athletes that's, that's in my algorithm, it just continues to show me like, man, so this sports thing is massive. Like this sports thing is huge and people and parents and young kids, everybody is taking it serious, not just in the States, but around the world. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I think we're going to have an opportunity to to build a business to support these these athletes and give them a place to to have their complete sports journey. So. Man, she's doing her thing, only nine years old. I can, only, I can only imagine if I was working out like that when I was nine years old, right? But now it's just a different world and people see the possibilities of what could be. Uh, like you have guys like Richard Williams. You know, he was a visionary because he's seen what could be, right? Uh, a lot of us... You know, people didn't see that. You know, you've seen, you know, you've seen the NBA, you've seen the NFL, but people were telling us when we were younger, man, listen, get that out of your head. That's really not a thing, right? When it really is a thing, okay? And now it's even more of a thing with NIL and kids making seven figures in college and setting themselves up, even if they don't go high first round. Uh, professional, right? So they were already set up uh, with these seven-figure NIL deals, six-figure NIL deals, these salaries, 80000 in college that, you know, even your, your school is paid for and you still can tuck away a lot of money to get ready for your real life if you don't go pro. So it's just a, just a different world. It's just a different world. Uh, Sunday, I'll talk about this today because I got a message today. I'll talk about it probably all throughout until it happens, but Sunday, I'll be going to Barranquilla to play with a team from Cartagena. I got invited. Uh, what that shows me is, look, through word of mouth, my name is making a little bit of rounds in the city that I can play a little bit, even at 44 years old. So, um, also what that tells me is, is, you know, what that tells me is to tell you, if you're a younger guy, to relay this message that, listen, don't be me. <laughs> I stopped. I retired basically at 24 years old after I got cut. Um, don't be me because opportunities only come to people that are actually in the game. If you're on the sideline, you can't even get an opportunity. Okay. So possibly if I stayed in Argentina, if I dropped to a lower, you know, to, to a lower division or went to another place and tried again and continue to try again i'm 24 years old i'm getting i'm getting opportunities at 44 right and i am probably 25 percent of the player i was um when i was that age so don't be me stay in the game and stay continuing to go after it stay continuing to go after your dreams uh development wise uh for the for the platform um, man, I really like the new video player. Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. It's, it's going to be very, 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 very close. Whether we make that, that this, this 37 days, it's still a lot of bugs 
It's still a lot of bugs. Uh, but um, I'm confident, and it seems like every single day as I'm continuing to go through and try things, it seems like it's more and more things. And I'm like, hey, we don't have this, we don't have that. But I am not going for perfection. I'm going for MVP and for a product, and we can iterate from there. I am not a, on this perfectionist stuff where, hey, it has to be perfect before we launch. No, we're going to launch, and we're going to iterate as we go. We're going to get the feedback from customers, and we're going to uh, fix whatever the customers want. We are customer-centric, right? We want to be the company for the customers, okay? What do you guys want? How can we make this better? That's how this business is going to grow because we are actually here to support our athletes and our parents to have a place for their athletes to have their sports journey documented. Uh, so, yeah, these are the things that I'm thinking about, but as far as perfection... I could care less about perfection. We want to get to launch and we want to iterate. We want to, you know, we want to see where we're falling, falling short. We want to see where we're strong at. And that's how we're going to build this thing. We are not building something perfect at all. But we want to be perfect as far as uh, what our customers want. We want to be perfect to oblige by them. Okay? That's what we want to do. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's going on. And, um, man, Wednesday, halfway through the week, peace. Have a good day, guys.